welcome back to the essential owl Erin here to make another cold process soap we are coming up on the end of this cold process soap custom order I don't know why I repeated cold process soap there I literally just said it in my intro <laughs> but I am very excited for this next soap because Valentine's Day is just around the corner and what does what immediately comes to your mind for Valentine's Day? To me, it's red, pink, white, hearts, and Cupid everywhere. So, that's what I'm shooting for today. Now, the fragrance that I'm using is Harlequin Romance. This is from Nurture Soap. This is a dupe of A Thousand Kisses from Lush. You guys, this fragrance smells amazing i actually used this in a soap for my own line last year and it sold very very well but i do have a couple of bars left but i absolutely love it it smells so very good mm, it smells great and the last time i used this fragrance it behaved extremely well so i am crossing my fingers that it still behaves the same that they didn't make any changes to the formulation of the fragrance and our colorants today are very simple. We've got some titanium, di titanium <laughs> dioxide mixed into some water. And we also have in this container, this is a mixture. I apologize for the bad lighting quality in here. I will take a shot of this little container with the flash on just to really show off how pretty this color is. This is a mixture of the Summer Crush Mica and the Amaranth, I believe I'm spelling, I'm pronouncing that correctly, A-M-A-R-A-N-T-H, pink Mica. The Amaranth is more of a blushy pink with silver shimmer, and the Summer Crush Mica is more of a peachy pink with a gold shimmer. So I'm hoping, and it sort of appears to be that way. <laughs> I'm hoping that this will give us a nice, pretty Valentine sort of pink with both, both gold and silver shimmer, if I could speak English today. <laughs> Let me take a shot with the flash There we on. go. So hopefully that gives you a better view of that mica, a more accurate representation of the color and I do see silver and I do see gold shimmer in this so I am very happy with this mixture I think this is going to be a very lovely cute soap. so now I need to put one of my gloves back on I don't have anything else to say that I can think of so let's just jump right into the making of the soap
All right, so I've got my colorants all blended in. I'm going to finish blending or mixing this pink by hand because as you might be able to see, I've got some spillage going on because I did overfill this little container, unfortunately. That's how it goes sometimes. And I do think that I might add a little bit more, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's add just a tiny, tiny bit of really red just to make sure that we have it as pink as we can be. Just going to mix in a little bit of oil so that I can stir it in by hand. Not very worried about this batter thickening up on me because I don't think that this fragrance necessarily slows Trace down, but it certainly helps keep your batter fluid. All right, so let's just add a little bit of that red. Okay, and I'll just very gently fold that in, and I will lose some, because that's just how it's going today. Definitely overfilled my little container here. Okay, that is a much better pink. Let me clean up my mess here. Because I did spill quite a bit. That's what I get for trying to be an overachiever. And I don't think I have enough paper towels to clean up my mess. And before I go any further, I am going to do a drop swirl, and I may even do a hanger swirl with this one. I'm dripping this everywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and pour, I hope I said in the pot swirl because that's what I meant, <laughs> but I will go in with my chopstick as well. because I haven't done a really fluid hanger swirl in a while, unless I did it on one of these soaps and can't remember. Giving that a little bit of a stir to give it a head start. Still very, very, very fluid, guys. So I apologize if this video runs a little bit long. It is because I'm taking my time because I can do that with this fragrance and it's not going to punish me. There we go. Okay, let me get my mold ready because I forgot to do that. Okay, so I've got my mold ready and now nothing left to do but to pour Oh, you guys, this is going to turn out so nice. Okay, that's all the pouring I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take my spatula, bounce it very gently just into the corners, help smooth it out. This is going to be very, very pretty. Okay, now I am going to take my dowel and I'm going to go in and just do some swirls like this. Okay all the swirling I'm gonna do. Clean off my dowel here. I'm 
Now, for the top, since this pink is still very, very fluid, and the white as well, I will take a little bit of the white, drizzle a little bit of it on top, Okay, now I'm going to take some of the pink. I apologize if you can hear my TV going in the background. I forgot to shut my door before I came back in because I was just too excited. So there's that. Actually, let me close that door. Okay. And now just a little bit more of the white as well. Just a tiny bit. And I know I have, ha uh -huh. I know I had a pipette in here somewhere. So now I'm going to take this pipette and I am going to swirl it and I'm going to swirl it like this first, not going too far in the batter so I don't disturb the swirl inside. And now... I'll go back the other direction like this. Okay. And now, before this actually does start to set up, I'm going to scrape out my containers and fill up a spare silicone mold is put on some glitter. This is Eclipse Glitter, I believe is what it's called. I'm actually not sure if this is available anymore, but this is a biodegradable glitter. It is a light purple, and I think it will just give a little bit of a pop to this soap. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to completely cover up my swirl there. This is a super duper duper fine glitter but purple is another color that I really like for Valentine's Day that I feel like doesn't get a whole lot of love sometimes there we go and now I need to spritz with alcohol and I said that as I was walking out the door, but I've actually got it sitting right next to me. So this is 91% rubbing alcohol. There we go. I'm gonna give that a spritz to help anchor that glitter and disperse it just a little bit. And that will also help prevent any ash. I generally don't have problems with ash, but at this point it has become a habit. So, there we go. I'm going to clean up my edges a little bit, and then I will bring you all in for a close-up. Okay, let's bring you all in for a close-up, you guys. I'm in love with this soap. I think it's so pretty. I think I might have went in with a little bit more glitter than intended, but you can still see that swirl underneath that beautiful pink and white swirl. And I did go pretty heavy handed with the titanium dioxide in this batch because generally a more creamy white doesn't bother me for a soap base. But for this one, I felt it would be far more beneficial to have a very, very, very white base. So that's what I aimed for. Hopefully I'll hit that mark. And I just, you guys, just look at this. It's so pretty. I'm in love with it. Very, very, very nice. And of course, as always with glitters and things like that, I will be doing a shot with the flash on so you can get the full effect. But that's all that I have for this portion of the video. I will see you all for the cut.
back to cut the Valentine's Day soap. This is made with Harlequin Romance, which is a thousand kisses lush dupe. And I'm very excited to cut into this one, you guys. The outside has wonderful marbling, very nice pink, very bright white. And of course, there is our lovely top with all of that purple shimmer on there. So let's just jump right into the cutting. So there is one side and there is the other. Oh, it's very cute. And there's the top. I apologize for my whiny dog. Again, whining because he's not allowed to be in here. Let's cut one more and I will speed it up. That's a little bit of mica that was unincorporated. Not a big deal. There's that top. This is our final bar in the Harlequin Romance soap. I am extremely pleased with how this one turned out. This fragrance always behaves so super well. I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you never miss one of my uploads. If you have a Valentine, do something nice for them today. Show them that you love them. Show them what you mean to them. I'm sorry, show them what they mean to you. <laughs> and hopefully they will show you what you mean to them. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.